who's so interesting how to uh, adapt to life and work during the pandemic. As a Broadway producer, I'm used to going into meetings in person, shaking everyone's hand, looking in the eye, speaking with the actors and actresses in person and congratulating them or giving constructive feedback. And once the pandemic hit, it was a whirlwind. I didn't really, frankly, know what to do, you know, as a producer and investor in Broadway shows. Uh, but I worked with my team and we had to focus on other ways to communicate. So we started doing a lot of videos via Zoom and the actors and actresses and music team and directors and other participants had to jump onto Zoom. And it was a very interesting experience. You know about Zoom and most of America uh, has a, had to adapt to, you know, video meetings. And I thought it was really interesting. I mean, even though I didn't actually physically were able to uh, shake their hand and, and, and kind of be, you know, uh, two feet away from them, you had to adapt. And, you know, most of America, even today, is using Zoom to uh, communicate with their employees or their team. It's gradually uh, coming back. Uh, but the moment, you know, in 2021 and 2020 was just a true shocker, you know, having to go on to Zoom and set up all the meetings. Not only uh, that, but, you know, I had to deal with the actual the production closing down and no one going into theaters. It was sad. It was truly, uh, and uh, I've never seen that in my whole lifetime, and the Broadway community has never seen that ever before, where you had to shut down the, the theater because of this pandemic. And it was pretty wild having to deal with that. But I adapted, and the Broadway community adapted. We had rehearsals uh, and table reads on Zoom, and the actors and actresses, you know, had to uh, uh, work with us. and. This was ultimately the way that Broadway, uh, you know, worked back during the pandemic. You know, obviously there was a big break, uh, 2020, 2021, and uh, finally got back to it in 2020, end of 2021 uh, to present. Uh, but it was tough. It was a real tough moment, uh, just like all the businesses out there. Uh, but I'm proud to say that Broadway uh, is back, you know, back to uh, hopefully, you know, pre-pandemic uh, levels. There's really great shows out there, uh, but it was really some moment having to adapt and do things via Zoom, by email, and, you know, it wasn't easy, you know, doing creative stuff and uh, marketing stuff or plan, I guess, for the reopening of these shows uh, via Zoom. But we got through it, and uh, I'll never forget those moments. It truly uh, was something, it was, it was sad, but we had to get through it. I did miss the human contact, uh, shaking their hand, looking them in the eye and telling them that I'm one of the producers of the show and that I'm gonna be working with you going forward. And, you know, so I did miss that, you know, uh, but I did like, I, in a sense, I did like the freedom of, you know, waking up each day from my bedroom and going right into my office and uh, turning on the Zoom and I didn't have to uh, travel, you know, or take the subway or take my car into the meeting. So there were pros and cons, but I did miss the physical, you know, interaction, being with people. You know, Broadway is about, you know, show, right, being there, the live interactive experience. And that's what makes Broadway. And it's so different than uh, movies or television where you could just go in your living room and uh, open up your TV with a remote control. Broadway is about going there, living the experience, the live theater experience, showing at the theater, sitting next to someone. And that was missing during the pandemic, right? And not only was that the performances, but it was also the readings that I attended and enjoyed. Uh, not being there and, you know, looking them in the eye, that was tough. But we had to adapt and uh, now hopefully everything is back to uh, normal. It was a very emotional moment when the meeting started to become in person again just looking in the eye and everyone was very teary eyed, frankly, saying, wow, we're back. You know, what a wild two years. It was some feeling being there and actually sitting next to them on a table during a table read. And I thought to myself, wow, look at all the stuff that, you know, we missed out on in two years. So it was emotional, but it was also very happy and a joyous occasion for everyone to be back in the room again and do what everyone enjoys and is passionate about. It's about storytelling about telling people about this great story, about this great play or musical. 
Uh, it truly uh, was just so great for everyone to be back together again.